In this video, we'll learn how to solve an apportionment problem using Adams' method. Here's a typical problem. Suppose a nation has four states with populations shown below and a representative body with 60 seats. How many seats should each state get? At this point, if you haven't watched the introduction video, you should click on the link below and watch that now. As we learned in that video, we can figure out the fair shares for each state by using the standard divisor, which is the total population of the entire country divided by the 60 seats that we're looking for. We get those fair shares by taking the population of each state and dividing that by the standard divisor. So the fair shares tell us how many seats each state should get. But the problem is that those numbers aren't whole numbers. How do we figure out exactly how many whole number seats each state should get? Well, Adam's method gives us a way to do that. Adam's method says to round each of these shares up. But if we do that, that will always give us a number of seats that's more than the number of seats that we're looking for. So we can fix that by modifying the standard divisor by making it larger until the rounded shares add up to the correct total. Let's see how this works out. So we're going to get our rounded shares by taking these fair shares and rounding them up. So 21.47 will get rounded up to 22, 18.38 will get rounded up to 19, and so on. And as we see, we have 62 seats, which is more than the number of seats that we have. So we can't use the standard divisor because that won't give us the right number of seats. We'll have to use a modified divisor. So we'll be making this modified divisor larger, and the reason for that is that if we take these populations and divide them by a larger number, that will give us smaller answers. And so what we're looking for is to try to figure out what kind of larger number we can use so that when we take those populations, divide them by that larger divisor, and round the answers up. Again, with Adam's method, we always round the answers up. We want to end up with the 60 seats that we're looking for. So the modified divisor should be something more than 3460. Let's try 4,000. So we'll get our modified share by taking the population of each state. In this case, we're starting with A. We'll take A's population and divide it by that new divisor. That gives us 18.57. And then the rounded share for A will be that number rounded up. We'll do the same thing for B, C, and D, taking the population of each state, dividing it by our new divisor, and then rounding the answer up. But what we see now is that now we only have 53 seats. So we started with too many seats, we made our divisor larger, that gave us fewer seats, but now it's too low. Now we're down to 53, we want to be up at 60. So what that tells us is that we made the divisor too large. We still need to find a divisor that's more than 3460, but 4000 is too big. So we need a number that's bigger than 3460 still, but not quite that big. So let's try 3500. Again, we'll find our modified shares by taking the population of each state, in this case we're starting with A, and divide that by our new divisor. Here that gives us A's modified share equaling 21.22. We round that up, we get 22 seats for A. Again, we do that for B, C, and D, dividing the population of each state by the modified divisor. But now we're back to 62 seats. So we made our divisor larger, but we clearly didn't make it large enough. So we're playing a guessing game here. We're trying to narrow in on a number that will give us the rounded shares that add up to exactly 60. And after a little bit of playing around, what we might find is that a modified divisor of 3535 actually works out. So we divide the population of each state by 3535, take those modified shares, round them all up, and when we do that and add them up, we get 60 seats. So that's Adam's method.